Well, we can start now, and today we are going to talk about the mixer to do. And from another perspective, we will, uh, apart from mixer, uh, without the mixer server, how to avoid to observe the observability. And uh, I'm uh, Wu Sheng and uh, Zhou Li Zhang. Actually, we are a kind of service mesh company, uh, commercial delivery in North America. And first of all, I, my partner Li uh, Zhang, will do the um, exhibition to tell you what kind of services and the characteristics we are using of Envoy. And I will just tell you about how can we achieve the following capabilities regarding it. Uh, hello everyone, I work in Tetrit and uh, I was born overseas so I'm not accustomed to delivering speech in Chinese. This is my second time. So this is my second time uh, doing the speech in Chinese. So first of all, I'd like to introduce what is Envoy. I think maybe some of you are uh, familiar with what is Service Mesh and what is Envoy. And uh, I would like to talk about some of the visibility of Envoy. And also uh, Wu Sheng will just uh, tell you how to connect Envoy and still to Skywalking. First, what is service mesh? Actually, service mesh uh, by connecting the network and uh, to make it transparent to applications. So many of the common functions needed in the network, including the connection pool, and this kind of uh, function can be done in Envoy and uh, Envoy can just uh, replace many of the following applications to achieve the function needed in the network. So these are for the general service mesh, how they deploy. Well, the common thing is that the set car proxy, uh, to use the, the Envoy is the set car proxy and to put in every service part. And then for every service and application through this kind of uh, Envoy uh, service proxy to communicate. And the Envoy, I have said it in my previous uh, introduction, what is another other process architecture and a way uh, achieve it through C++ plus and to achieve the high performance with low latency code base. It has many filter architectures and also uh, has support for the HTTPL7 filter architecture and also as for the service discovery and a, a kind of uh, observability, what is the emphasis we're going to put today uh, as well as the authentication, authorization and edge proxy. So these are the uh, general architecture of Envoy. You can also see it in other places. Uh, listener filter. So what kind of filters we need in this and this can provide more information to it. It's a kind of encoded filter and to do it in different ways to encode this kind of uh, linkage. And we will use TCP and also to in our uh, support service in like other double L7 uh, ray filters. So actually once you understand the L7 it will provide more observability. For example, how many requests, how many responses, and the logging will also be uh, much more improved. And these are one character of Envoy, that is the API, which is a control plane and to provide a different configuration for Envoy. 
a listen uh, discovery service, cluster discovery service, and root discovery service. And in terms of observability, there are two services. One is metric service, and another one is access log service. Also, we have the trace service, which is uh, we fully uh, we haven't fully finished it. And today, I will mainly talk about the metric service and the access log service to achieve the envoy and the skywalking connection. As for observability, now let's first look at the metric service, actually, which is a very easy service. We'll just uh, identify one, and this is the stream. And we can see these metrics is is using structure from Prometheus, which means that which envoy in and uh, which cluster is this envoy, and to identify the and as for the access log service, it's very easy too. It's similar, and we can. Just uh, HTTP uh, access log entries as an example, which we can see for every filter, we can add some of the a unique data in it, and also to add one identifier. This is the streaming to this log service. So in Skywalking, we have a Emma metric receiver. This is um expanded function of Skywalking, and in the support of the Skywalking to support the metric service and access log service. So if you want to uh, connect Emma to the Skywalking. We need to set send to this service, access log service, because I've mentioned in access log service is mainly in the HTTP connection. So in every listener, the connection manager needs to be realized. And next, I would like to invite Wu uh, Sheng to tell us how we can receive this data in Skywalking. Well, uh, Lizanne have told us about the two services we are going to use. And these two services, we can simplify them. We just got two data. One is the Envoy connection, the app, and some of the regular information. As for the access log, actually, we are getting the kind of um, uh, other information we usually use ISO to um, manage the kind of orchestration of uh, Envoy. So whether it is tracer or matrix or our many topology by many of the producers. It's so by the end of last year and the beginning of this year, if you want to uh, in some of open source community to pro post this adapter, you want to do the mix adapter, you want to do the in-process adapter, you will find that actually is still a team will not uh, clearly receive this PR. They want to tell you, I want you to achieve bypass adapter. What is bypass adapter, which is the issue on one filter to send the data to the mixer server and according to your information to send it out. So actually it uh, leads to kind of uh, bypass. So actually Skywalking is the only one that can achieve bypass scapter adapter in the open source community. Actually, we 
mixed server doesn't do anything. It's kind of like just a, a root. And uh, in a lot of articles, the concern of most people is the performance of mix adapter and the mix and it's still mixer. So the performance concerns are actually the following. For instance, the Envoy filter cost, it has more CPU. It needs more CPU of Envoy. And uh, if you actually look at the these filters. So most complicated thing is that it needs to actually put more information inside and uh, what are the sources and uh, destinations and in the mixer. So the metric you could actually see you would receive the information about the source and the destination. And also during the and also another problem is latency of RPC. We need to actually have this issue be higher procedures and uh, latency is cannot be avoided. And the mixer actually has done a lot more than zipping and in terms of the tracing. And the mixer is more complicated. And you can see that the elementary it collects more data. And the second concern among people is that when it still wants the other users to use the bypass, but there would be unnecessary cost when using bypass, whether it's just a little, a bit, a little more cost then okay. people would still consider it unnecessary. And also, the third concern is the Istio filter to server. It's kind of like a protocol is quite complex. And uh, we have this complex attribute report pro protocol. And the uh, Istio's team is trying to lower the complex uh, complexity, but it's still not user-friendly enough. So if we say that we don't want Mixer, and what is the things that we need to do in terms of observability? And uh, observability is like include metrics, not, and tracing. So tracing is, is not mysterious, so we all know how to do it. And uh, we need to you have SDK, and then I need to have agent. And then we need to go into this kind of like process and the metrics. So there are two main metrics. Whether it's be it Prometheus or other systems, it means not me. So the metrics are not analyzed, and then we also have topology. So Mixer actually provides much more powerful capability in terms of the topology. We saw for Envoy metric surface, so on the basis of Prometheus, actually you could get all the Envoy metrics and your application can get to APM system including Prometheus or other systems, but if we do not want those, then how can we match? And if we don't change anything, how can we get the topology that we want and all the values of the matrix that we want. So if we take out Mixer, what are the other, other options? So Skywalking is an open source project and it can have C++ plugin and it has can add filters inside. It's kind of like Yammer, what Yammer is trying to do. And also through tracing and analyzing tracing, and uh, three years ago through the foundation until today and uh, it can do all the tracing and uh, details of tracing and uh, this is just a open source APM system. That's the first option. Second, so we can actually implement the ESTL attribute protocol which is quite complex as mentioned. And so it's complex Com uh, in, it's just relative, but not mission impossible. So it's just a protocol anyway. But then if we can implement the Istio attribute protocol, the builder is still working. So the Istio's filter 
this problem cannot be addressed. And uh, the impact on latency and etc. are still there. The third option is LS. So, through, so what is LS? So if whether you are be it like if you are familiar with Envoy or other gateways, access log is actually the log output of every request. It is a service and it is through GIS, not via. So it has access log and access log service. So actually they are same on the like from certain perspective. So Envoy, so you can see they actually LS have two different rows. They can have sidecar or ingress, those two different methods. So if you look at the mesh topology, and the sidecar is the application behind it, and it's kind of like an agent. And then if it's a gateway, Envoy itself is the service. So we want to show the topology, the topology that you want to have is totally different. And the, f the first problem that you need to solve is it need to address is to tell whether it's ingress or sidecar. But Envoy actually doesn't know. But fortunately, we still have Istio. Istio is a pilot. When they name every Envoy, they have quite a regular pattern. So for instance, the pattern includes the name of the node, and uh, actually they contain very important information. If it's ingress, it is named the rotor. If it's sidecar, it's named like sidecar. So you can see the naming pattern here, and to realize what actually what it is. And also we have different requests. And uh, we have inbound and outbound, and uh, client side sidecar, and it's also like Istio is controlling Envoy. That's like if we just run a normal Envoy, it doesn't look like this. And inbound outbound is that like we tell Envoy which is outbound, which is inbound. So LS, like actually we can activate it anywhere, but then if we want to actually make the availability work, we need to have like this mesh and follow all the rules of Istio, all the controlling rules, and for instance the naming and everything, you can not have your own envoy that you can assume that it would work. It doesn't work that way, actually. So I just skipped the previous slides because, like a lot of things, are specific on the Kubernetes platform that you could see that we have one very special thing. Is that something that you wouldn't see, wouldn't normally see? So this is the data here that you could see doesn't have the concept like pod and what you need to do is that you will see the IP here and for the service mesh and the Kubernetes what are the features so it is like specific in the specific time so there would not be two ports sharing one IP. So every IP is specific, is distinctive. And you can, if you can have like two pods taking like a similar, or a same IP, it's not what we are looking for. So if we look at the, any monitoring system, we can only receive IP of the service and uh, for the, we don't know the progress of that. So 
actually the IP is the most important thing. We need to get the IP to locate what is the original service and, uh, like for instance, the data of service A and the service B. So when we try to pull out the data, and for it, and on each topology that the data is generated by ALS. So I want to tell you specifically that there are different cases. Ingress, so it has a special role. For every incoming request, it will have a specific LS. So in on a topology, you will have two lines. Because ingress itself is a surface, you need to have this kind of like, you need to visualize its incoming and outgoing to make it to make sure that it is an independent service and then server side sidecar so it's service side metrics and also we can show that who is pulling out the data who is collecting the data and also there's something specific that when you use ingress to pull up the sidecar ingress is uh, it will actually go through the IP address and uh, you cannot generate this line and on this line, this will only have an ingress for the target service, and uh, the service cannot trigger the ingress. So this is a from only can be achieved the one side, and the client side side car is the same. So we just talk about how can we identify those. It's quite abstract, but then we also have this kind of like open source Apex Sky working, so you can see the project repo here by visiting this website and uh, all the metrics and websites there. So this is all we want to share. If you have any topics that's related or any questions that you want to ask, please don't hesitate to raise your hand. So actually, I do have a question. The first one is that through avoiding mixer, so observability of ISTO. So can you also cover the observability of the nodes? And uh, can you? Oh yes, yeah. It's actually the same. It's consistent. The second question I have is that you can uh, we cannot have an like just a standard employee. You still need an ISTO on the NYS and have this ISTO. So you don't need a filter actually. You need a pilot. So actually. For ISTO itself, ISTO proxy, we will have this Envoy and uh, also the Mixer shelter. And uh, we don't need shelter for that part. As Wenshan mentioned, for this the naming rules and the pattern and everything, the identifier, we need to give it to the Envoy. And if you use other Envoy, you will have you don't have a consistent naming patterns or rules, so we want to use a pilot to identify us to achieve the result. So that that means that I only need to replace it, the current envoy that I am using to the standard envoy. Is that right? Is that right? So in theory it works, but we haven't tested. So but I think. You don't need to change it into Envoy because there's no install filters. So how can I avoid the cost or lower the cost of filters? So in the configuration, there's if there's no install filter, so you can just turn off and uh, it will not generate any cost. Have you ever compared the performance? So, I think a mixer is quite slow. So if we, uh, if I turn off filter, so actually we haven't done any large scale testing. So we don't have this kind of like application case scenario. So for a single node LS. If we 
you actually have tested single node. The performance, so we, we, made a, we will have an extra of 10 to 15 extra cost. That's what we noticed. So actually, it has a lot of things to do with the traffic as well. And uh, the cost, of, we will have an extra cost of CPU about 10 to 12 percent. And uh, there was no impact on the latency. And uh, Mixer is just uh, not only about the the mixer, but also about the, the latency. So, thank you very much. And, and the pod is too much, and they are around 1,300 pods, and the topology just cannot work on it. So, and the memory is. Not working. So we have two uh, things. The ES is the core, will be the core. Because the, uh, the topology doesn't have any logic in the tracking. This is a kind of uh, basic logic and all the metrics they are for the second search for the very big issues and maybe the next version will be better but for these versions you should remember that yes performance for the solution will much more than right so it has well has a bigger after running for a while, don't have any data because it's not the data that has been, it's the delete has Because before delete, you have staged data. Because the matrix cannot be saved forever in PDL for several, uh, as, uh, several minutes, several hours, several days. Actually, it is a big pressure. So uh, we have very big ES cluster, it's quite big. Uh, we didn't find uh, what is the big problem with it, because there are not many specific signs upon the deletion, but many people ask it. And uh, our solution now is that we will just uh, just to delete these kind of uh, indexes instead of uh, uh, yes, the data, that is the ES PDL, can only be set in the level uh, like days. So you can not only delete the index every day. So the ES data needs to be able to work on at least one day. If it only can be uh, work for several hours, it cannot work. So if I want to see the observability and the topology, actually we can just uh, shut down all the things in Mixer. Yes. All the Mixer related can be turned off. Thank you. As uh, the client had mentioned just now, the e still still needs to be um, maintained, and the pilot still needs to be maintained, and we only can delete all the uh, if you even don't want the pilot, actually. As long as you can just obey the rules and function, you can identify the gateway, the side car, and this uh, inbound and outbound. And if your SDS can also have the same function, it's also fine. I'm just saying that it's a much easier way. So as for the RLS, um, we 